Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here. Uh, I wanted to share something with you that I couldn't find on any other YouTube channel. Really surprised me. You see, I was doing a contest, which was the North American QSO party for the SSB mode, and wanted to record a CQ message that could be replayed with the press of a button. That, that's just to save my voice uh, during the contest. Now the problem started after I cracked open my owner's manual and found this instruction. So, following the instructions, I selected LSB. So I'm in an LSB on the TS-890 and I looked for TX message over F2. Well, it wasn't there. So I toggled through the more selections and it never showed up. First, I did a Google search asking, where the blah, 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 is my TXMSG function? I did the same thing on YouTube, and while I did find information on using the recorder function, uh, that allows you to record QSOs in progress and then save them either to a memory stick or your computer, I found nothing on pre-recording voice messages to a memory. A little later on, uh, I was doing contest prep, uh, setting up the everything, and I w happened to be toggling through my scope functions, trying to find the appropriate one. And so I was down here using the SCP or scope, and I toggled through. And I said, nah, I don't want to use that one. Eh, nope, I, I want a waterfall. And I clicked here, scope went away, and lo and behold, there's my TX, TX MSG, TX message button, properly located over the F2 key. Later, I scoured the owner's manual and never did find anything in there about not having an active screen in order to see the function. But enough of my woes and worries. Let's go back to the 890 and I'll show you how to record a message. Press the TX MSG, TX message key, F2, to bring up the voice message screen. Then use the multi knob to adjust which channel you wish to uh, record over. Now we're going to press the more key again, which is going to bring up our channel listing. Uh, please note, we're going to be able to record up to 100 seconds of voice messages between all of these. So if you use two here and eight there, you got 10, 30 there, you're now at 40 seconds, you get the picture. We're going to press and hold the function key associated with channel one. Press and hold. This brings up this uh, voice message and you can see that as I'm talking, my microphone is moving. Uh, so that's, that's good, right? Uh, just to make sure there's no problems, I am on 80 meters and it is the middle of the day. I am going to turn my power down to five watts so that I don't accidentally uh, it bother someone who's out there. When ready, we're gonna press the rec button and we are going to record our message. Test, test, demo, ND3N, November, Delta, 3, November. And let it go. You can see I just recorded 11 seconds and that 11 seconds came off of our 100 seconds. Now, if you need to re-record, you simply go back and repeat the crime. Uh, say I don't want to say test, test, I just want one test. So we're going to record it and, you know, well, say we want to make it shorter. Uh, so I'm going to shorten the message up. Press and hold that. Going to re-record. Test, demo, ND3N. 
Now you see I've used six seconds and I've got 94 seconds remaining. Repeat that as required to get the message recorded to your satisfaction. Prior to recording, you want to set your equalizer and ALC levels. Now instructions for that are in your owner's manual, so I won't go into those in these videos. And while you're recording, you'll want to monitor your voice using the monitor function of your radio, because what you hear while recording over the monitor is what you will actually be sending out. As a by the way, I wouldn't recommend using the voice processor. The TS-890S puts out a really good audio signal without the processor, but the choice is yours. Now, please take a second to give me a like by popping that thumbs up button. Now that you have a recording in the memory location, you can give it a name. If your screen is showing memory channels in F2 through F7, channel 1 through channel 6, you want to press the more button and now you're going to be able to give it a name. Uh, there are other options here but we'll talk about those later. So we're going to name this by pressing name. Then we're going to use our multi-channel to put in what we want and we're going to put in the word test. We forward it with the forward cursor, F5, and we put in our next letter. We repeat that until we get everything we want. And when we get the word up there that we want, we click on Save. Now, Notice while in there, while naming your message, and we'll go back to name to bring up the right screen. In addition to your controls down here, you have a backspace fu function, which we can click on. Now you see I've just lost that. So now we're going to go back and add our T back in. And resave it. You also have a delete key. Uh, to get, get to that one, what you want to do is move to the character in front of what you delete. So if I wanted to lose the word E or the letter E, I would cursor back to the letter E, press the delete key, and then it would just say TST. Whatever you put in as your name or label has absolutely nothing to do with the content of your message, which is what you just got done recording. Uh, you can be as creative as you want to be with those labels as long as you understand what they mean. To play the message over the air, get back to the screen with channel 1 through channel 6 displayed over F2 to F7. And we do that by going to the more. Momentarily press the function key associated with the channel that you want to send. That's just a quick press and your radio will transmit your recorded message at that time. When your message is complete, your radio will return to receive like this. If this memory is something you want to automatically have repeated, Get back to here, and we're going to click on repeat. You see our little racetrack show up there. The default setting for the time space between the end of the message and the start of the repeat is 10 seconds. To change it, escape from your voice message screen and go to your menus. And we want to go to menu 5, select that, we want to be in item 16. You can see I have that set for two seconds right now. I like to use four seconds. Now, several years ago, I had a fellow contester advise me that when setting up a repeating message, you want to have anyone who is just scrolling through the band either hear your CQ 
or hear you working someone. Now we were talking about ready at the time, but it applies here as well. Four seconds seems to work well with that for me. And by the way, the four seconds is the time from the end of the message to the start of the replay. To escape the repeat, simply key down on your microphone or push to talk for just a moment. We're going to actually play this message. And that's all there is to it. Finally, to delete the message, get back to this screen, then press and hold the delete button. And you see everything clears out. We got our full 100 seconds back and your recorded time, name, and repeat icon have disappeared. And that's how you add a voice message to a memory. I mentioned that I had checked Google and YouTube and didn't find anything. That if someone wants to fact check me on that, I would welcome it. Uh, please put the info down in the comments and if it's good enough, I'll even link it in the video description. Thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat about the TS-890S and how to add and modify voice message memories. If you learned something or just enjoyed the video, please give me a like by popping that thumbs up button. If you have a friend who owns a TS-890 or is thinking about getting a TS-890, as a matter of fact, you can do something similar with the 590 and the 990. So that's, you get three for the price of one here. Uh, but if they might enjoy it and learn from the content, please share. And please leave a comment for me suggesting any future videos that you would like to see on this channel. As always, 73, and I'm at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I'm out.